<laughs> All right, DJ Moore. We'll close out our top 10 consensus rankings. DJ Moore, this illustrates the point Jason and I were talking about. DJ Moore sits at 10. I have him at 13, Jason 12, Mike 9. DJ Moore sits at 10 with Teddy Bridgewater coming in at quarterback, a new offense, a new coach. That tells you the landscape, I think, you know, exists right now at wide receiver. He's ranked at 10. He had a solid season, but in 15 games, was the wide receiver 18 last year? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're always trying to so get that guy's a at guy's... 10? You're trying to get a guy's blow up before it happens. Obviously, if you got Chris Godwin last year, you were really ecstatic about that. But if you pay for Chris Godwin this year... Well, he has to replicate that, and maybe, and you know, and and he hopefully will. But you're not getting that discount. Whereas, I feel like dropping him lower than what I have him right now. Just thinking about this, because so, right now, DJ Moore, wide receiver, 18 last year, has a new quarterback, a new offense, and Robbie Anderson involved in the offense. Well, that's I'll, the current state of affairs. I'll give the floor to Mike. You've got him inside your top ten. Uh, I certainly see the talent, but what, talk up DJ Moore. Well, he, I mean, he did that with four touchdowns and he did that in essentially 14 games because the unfortunately in championship week if you remember he got knocked out of the game right at the very very beginning so his production was only in 14 games where he was nearly 12 1200 yards and four touchdowns and that was with horrifically bad quarterback play like he he still got it done those first couple weeks with cam newton when where cam did not look like was throwing the be, tomahawks. Yes, he should not be on an NFL field. And then the other trash that started playing quarterback, he still got it done as well. On top of that, he was 22 years old last year when he was getting those things done. Like I, I believe in the breakout age. DJ Moore, we we talked about it all the time, but he was our favorite prospect that year. His his athletic measurables are off the chart. His production profile was off the chart. He was the first wide receiver taken in that draft. And we saw this was like last year was the breakout. And to say he has a, a new quarterback, true. He's but his quarter but his quarterback is way better now. His quarterback is far more accurate. And his DJ Moore's skill set of being able to take a short slant sure. to the house, that matches up totally with what Teddy Bridgewater is comfortable doing. And that's not to say DJ Moore can't stretch the field because he's really fast. Like Car Carolina threw the ball the sec second most in the NFL last year. Yeah, yeah, and now you're bringing in you're bringing in a college coach. So it, I just, I think the arrow. But is what about way what about up. the the Robbie Anderson factor? You think that is he, are you counting on touchdowns to jump up for DJ Moore? Because yes, because I don't know if you're going to see. I mean, do you think he's a ninety catch guy next year? Uh, yeah, he was at 87 in 14 games. So yeah, I would definitely put him over the 90 reception mm. mark. I think he hits at least six receiving touchdowns and Robbie Anderson to me just makes the team better. Like if you have, you have Curtis Samuel and Robbie Anderson stretching the field and opening things up like DJ Moore is going to be in the middle of the field all by himself. You know, what's, well, what's ahead, crazy. Jay. Well, I was just going to say, you know, we, we, it's a matter – Some sometimes these rankings, when I have a guy low and it's like, man, I've got him way lower, it's not about just him. Yeah, it's and that's about fair. the other guys that go ahead. But there is a name that we are not talking about on this episode. We'll get to him uh, quickly on the next episode that I'm sure some people are out there going, what? Where's the superstar? Where is the, uh, the catch? Where is he? He's not oh, in our top yeah. ten. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, I, you know, look, DJ Morris, you bring up a good point about his age. You bring up a good point. Obviously, you hope for more efficiency from Teddy Bridgewater, but it is hope. Teddy Bridgewater has not su supplied fantasy value to very many players in his career. And he also never had a contract like he's on right now. The old Amari yeah. Cooper theory. Yeah, but qu yeah, qu quarterback contracts. Did not produce uh, the greatest things for you know <laughs> the Mike Glennons of the world, but um, I just think there's a lot of question marks around DJ uh, yeah. Moore. I don't and think fine. I think his range of outcomes are not all up. I don't think it's all up for DJ Moore as a potential outcome. I obviously have him at 13, so I still like the season, but it illustrates the fact that there is a lot of variability, and I cannot 
I'm going to have a hard time drafting a player like DJ Moore over somebody like T.Y. Hilton. Well, then you're going to be... That's going to be a tough thing. You're going to be looking at your fantasy opponent and DJ Moore is going to be in that lineup. And then Coach Jaw is going to let you know what's coming. Murder! I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Congratulations. You made it to me. Click the subscribe button and see more of me.